Uh, zebra and quagga mussels have not been found yet in BC waterways, but they have been found in British Columbia. So far, we've prevented them from finding their way to our water. And as the boating season approaches, it's time to make sure BC waters remain mussel free. Most people here know that invasive mussels pose a tremendous threat to our economy, to our tourist economy, to our environment, to our lakes that we depend on. A threat that could come at a cost of $43 million a year, which is why the provincial government announced a $2 million boost to the Invasive Mussel Defence Program that will see eight permanent mussel inspection stations installed at major entry points along BC's borders. And then for more coverage during peak travel times, we're more than doubling the number of specially trained conservation officers. It's going from 12 to 32. And they will be stationed at each site seven days a week, 10 hours a day. They are going to be able to identify and quarantine several kinds of invasive species. They're going to be looking at milfoil and um, flora species as well, but they will be focusing in particular on invasive mussels. The funding was made possible due to a partnership with BC Hydro, Fortis BC, Columbia Power and the Columbia Basin Trust. And it's a positive step forward in the eyes of the chair of the Okanagan Basin Water Board, Doug Finlater, who's been fighting to increase the province's inspection regime. With, with the number of locations and the number of personnel, the data collection is going to be really, really vastly improved. It's not going to be hit and miss as we've had. We're going to be able to get some very solid data about how extensive the movement of, of either dead or alive zebra quagga mussels is coming at British Columbia. This announcement comes following a successful pilot program last year. For Castanet News, I'm Jen Zielinski.